only thing that could go through my mind was like, who would want to hurt Benaya? Why would anybody want to hurt Benaya? Mom is asking for help, getting justice for her son. He was shot and killed in Evanston in late July of 2019, and his mother is pretty upset, obviously, still, because the murder is still unsolved. Courtney King spoke with his mother in an interview you'll only see right here on Fox 19 Now. Yeah, Trisha and Rob are live here in Cincinnati Police's criminal investigation section because detectives are on Benaya's case. And we spoke with his mother, Nicole. She tells us that the last five years have been tough and that she always gets anxiety as the anniversary date of her son's death comes up each year. And she tells us that her son had just turned 22 a week before he was shot and killed. This is a mystery. Nicole Lee is still waiting for closure in her son's death. It's been five years and somebody's out there who murdered my son. Cincinnati police say someone shot and killed her son, Benaya Israel, on July 22nd, 2019. This is footage from the scene. Benaya was murdered in front of my house. Nicole says Benaya's twin sister found him on Durrell Avenue near Merrimack Street in Evanston just before 4.30 a.m. We had just come home from a wedding. His cousin, he participated in that wedding, came home, changed clothes. Um, said he was leaving to visit a friend. Nicole says she woke up to the gunshots. I didn't even think it was Benaya. When I heard the gunshots, that was not what crossed my mind. EMS rushed 22-year-old Benaya to the hospital, but he died during surgery. Wondering what, what he would be like right now, what he would be doing right now, you know. Nicole says Benaya was still figuring out his life, but went to school and just passed his plumber's test. She says she misses fussing at him. Silly. If you didn't know him, you'd think he was shy. But those that knew him knew he was a little goofy and, you know, like crack jokes and stuff. Nicole says the lack of tips in her son's case has kept her from gaining peace for five long years. Yes, because somebody knows something and somebody's not saying something. She asks people with information to come forward because she fears the shooter has done this to someone else or will do it again. We don't want these kind of people out on our streets who just feel it's okay to go and murder people. So yes, I would want them to come forward. I want them to speak up and, and get this solved and get that person off the streets.